First Alert Weather with meteorologist Darren Stack. Not a bad looking Monday on tap for us, although keep an eye out of the sky for an isolated shower or thunderstorm out there for us today as a cold front drops from our north south of our area through the afternoon into the early evening. That'll also bring in a mixture of sun and clouds. We're only looking at about a 20% chance of an isolated shower out there for you as you head to the afternoon and evening hours. And then overnight conditions will be much drier for us as we lose the heating of the day and drier air pushes in behind that front. Ahead of the front, though, we are continuing to talk about unseasonably warm weather with widespread 80s for temps this afternoon, hitting 82 in Merle's Inlet, 81 in Surfside and Myrtle Beach, up to 83 in Carolina Forest, 84 in Socastee, even Georgetown maxing at 85 across the PD and the Border Belt. You're also looking for those highs in the mid and even a few upper 80s with 88 degrees in Lake City this afternoon, Florence and Darlington maxing out at 87. Along the Border Belt, you're staying closer to the mid 80s. But all in all, a good looking afternoon if you just keep an eye to the sky for that isolated shower or thunderstorm. Tomorrow, high pressure will build in. That'll dry us out. But unsettled weather off to our west with a series of disturbances rolling their way into the east coast. That'll keep us a little unsettled for Wednesday, Thursday, and even into Friday as they continue to progress their way eastward. Now, this frontal boundary won't really move through here on Wednesday, but it will pass by just to our north and close enough to keep that unsettled weather pattern around Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Here it is on Futurecast starting off at Wednesday 9 a.m. Tomorrow, as mentioned, looking pretty good out there. It's Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening. We have to keep an eye out for about a 30% chance of some widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. We'll see those die out as we go to the overnight hours, although an isolated one or two can't be ruled out through the overnight hours. A better chance for a few, a few more of those widely scattered showers and thunderstorms on your Thursday afternoon. And then once again, we, we repeat the process on Friday. The weekend, though, for your Easter weekend, looking pretty good. High temps will be a little bit cooler. We'll be cooling off a little bit, relatively speaking, but still looking pretty mild or warm for this time of the year, depending on how you want to look at it. 81 degrees your high today. We'll drop to 74 tomorrow as we are on the northern side of that front. We'll be back into the low 80s as warm air returns across the area on Wednesday before we cool down a little bit with more clouds and the chance for a few of those widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. Low 70s for your highs Thursday and Friday, and we'll hold the low 70s for the Grand Strand over the course of the weekend, although the weekend looks like it's going to be filled with more sunshine and dry weather. Inland areas, you're going to see a little up and down in your temperatures as well, hitting 87 today, 78 tomorrow, 86 on Wednesday, before returning to the middle and lower 70s from Thursday through Sunday. Again, a little unsettled for the middle and tail end of the week ahead, but the weekend looking pretty good, certainly highlighting that in your seven day forecast. So have a fantastic Monday. Get your week off to a great start. You can get your latest news and weather updates always on your website, carolinalive.com.